Hi everybody, it's Ethany. Welcome back to my channel and today I'm going to be sharing with you a project share for a swap that I'm doing with Beck. Um, Beck, if you are watching this, please look away so that you don't get your swap spoiled. Um, I will link down Beck's Instagram and her YouTube. I reached out to her on Instagram and said, hey, would you like to do a swap with me? And she said yes. So I'm super excited. So we were going to be doing a sequence mix, four embellishments, a 3D project, six flowers, a tag flip, um, some two store-bought gifts, a surprise and a bead box. And I'm doing a tarot reading for her as well in her letter. Um, I kind of went a little bit overboard, <laughs> but I have no regrets. So let's get started. So I made a couple of um bead box these are so great you get them in a stack of three from michael's i'm not going to stack them because i've got stuff on the top um but they're such good little bead boxes so i made two this is the first one and i found this chunky glitter baby pink tool yesterday actually at michael's and oh, i fell in love i'm using a lot of the explosion box by Paige evans from michael's in this um because i really love the colors and some of it is also i think it's actually most it's from this so this is the first one so i just ruffled that tool and then on the inside we have a little flower and then we've got a bunch of stuff so i made all of these paper tassels using um a really really good tutorial i'll have to find it and place it in the description box below so i made a bunch of paper tassels that are beaded with um gold loops and then i've got all of these like some heart beads and some pearl beads these are semi-precious stone beads more semi-precious stone these like matte ones i love them so much i've got a ah! i've got a full bag of them from michael's but i kind of want more and then we got the mermaid beads. So that's the first little box. Because we, we both discovered that we both really... I don't want to pinch that. Hang on. We both really like beading. Um, my wire wrapping skills are a little rusty. But we both really like it. And then the second one is full of embellishments. So this one, I put a little bunny flat back and did some more. And then the more... I did like a little rosette of tulle. Make sure I'm in the camera. And then a whack ton of flat backs. So like just a whole bunch. I bought like a massive bag of them and then just like stuffed it full of flat backs. So there's those two. And then I found this at Michael's and I couldn't say no. This is a little bracelet kit from Michael's. I bought myself a couple of these as well because the colors... Oh, I can't. Can I open it? I was going to... We go oh, look at the colors i haven't taken anything out of here i just wanted to take the label off but so cute right all those pearlized and i know that you know beck is in australia um and i live in canada now and i know how great it is to have michael's stuff and it's a little freaking icy pole and so i had to get one of those for her because i know she loves beads do I have any more beads? Oh, I've got more beads. I need to find them. So then I, <laughs> honestly, any excuse, any excuse to shop. Then I found more beads. I got some stuff from Hobby Lobby. So I got these tins, first of all, from Michael's as well. And using my 30% voucher, I think they came to like 30 for $17, including tax. Can't go wrong, right? So like I bought those as a really cute way to send them. And I just popped a little bow and a heart punch and then i wire wrapped these little guys i love these there's some of these beads are in the actual bead box and the other one i did for back so i wire wrapped. these were really fun if i didn't have to run off um and do baseball today i would make more and then look at this my, my kids baseball look at 
Look at this mix, gold and pink. And I thought she would really like that. There's like faceted, there's wood beads, there's all sorts of stuff. So that's another little extra bead box I made for her, just a little bead collection. And then I have this little guy, with a little flower on the top. And look at these, oh, there's more. Um, crazy beautiful beads from again from Michaels they all had that rainbow a aurora brolliolis and there's love hearts and stars so I packed as many as I could in this little container and that's going to back as well maybe I'll show you the tag flip next so the tag flip was meant to have five um five layers but I did a lot more than five layers this is the first one I really just mix a lot of collections and a lot of like craft stuff I just started to get into the um sort of American crafts like Maggie Holmes I bought a little bit of Marigold but Garden Party is the first one that I actually bought like pretty much the entire collection so I'm a bit of an eclectic crafter crafter but this is some of the uh, Bloom Street. Oh my God, I love Bloom Street so much. Bloom Street is like my favorite. And then this actually comes out. So I, I got a sewing machine and I'm learning how to sew. So it's a little journal card, but that also comes off as well. And then a pack of pink jammies. And then we have this little bike that's raised up with this little these were these are so cute and then some stickers some cactus stickers with like a pink gold foiling from michael's i'm not going to open this because it was really freaking hard but there's a whole bunch of embellishments inside this envelope oh and the jemmy fell off no not the jemmy hopefully that stays then this is another one um, oh, this comes off. This is a little peg. So this little peg, actually, little camera comes off. I just decided to peg it on there. And then this also comes out too. So I buy a lot of dies from In Love Art Shop, like a lot. Oh, my God, now it's not going to go back in. That's what she said. Um, so I have a lot of dies. So it's from there. And then I painted this little, and I dot painted all along the sides. It was like painstaking. I did four of them. So I, paint, I painted that for her so she could reuse it. And then I made this shaker. So Michaels had these shaker, DIY shakers, and then I put, popped a bunch of flat backs on there. And I was going to paint it pink, but I actually really liked how the pink looked with this craft. And then I got a double, like a multi-layer butterfly and then some embellishment so uh, oh and there's one more and then we have this coffee cup beauty begins the moment you decide to be yourself and it's got some glitter tool behind it and i used a bunch of like um the big fat eyelets so i've been really playing with an awful lot of stuff i am pretty proud of that tag flip um i know it's a little not hodgepodge but I do, like I said, I'm I'm very eclectic. Now the next one is the tassel. I made her a um a dangle. Now I bagged this up and put like sequins in the bag from the sequins mix. And I was like, oh damn it. But I did this bag topper with a clip. So I made all everything on this bag topper, like the bow. I love those bows. I like sat one weekend and made so many bows. And then um, it just has a little clip and it has a from that Celebrations Memory Hollow Doily. And then this, I guess you can have a pretty good look here. We have a tassel, some word um, word beads, stripey beads, lots and lots of wire wrapped. And there's some charms in here. So I spent, there's a little Swarovski heart. So I spent a, a good long amount of time on this. And I'm oh, sorry, I keep shaking the mic the stand and I'm really really proud of it so that can go on her journal or her um on her, uh, any uh, planner or a book or whatever it may be um all right I'm just going to quickly go through the store-bought goodies and then I'll show you the last two 
um, things I made. So I've got a ton of washi tape. I've got loads and loads and loads. There's some like rose notes. There's some simply gilded washi tape that's unused and some uh, theater of stars and a bunch of other stuff that I, I've got so much washi tape. So I stuffed this full of washi tape and, and then none of them are used. They're all brand new and just popped it in there. I fell in love with this little zipped up. Look at this little rainbow. You can put it in a you can put it in a file. It's so cute. It's a little pocket. I, I love rainbows. So I got that. Some puppy stickers. Little puppy stickers are like yeah, it, you know, like you can just put them on so many things. And I found they were out of at the dollar store near me. And then I went to another dollar store and I found I found some. So I got one for Beck. This I wanted to leave this just plain. This was on special. Oh shoot from michael's it's really good quality i know she likes pink um and then i got a bunch of stuff in it's just like stuffed full of things so like i said i kind of went a little bit nuts so um the first thing i got is some more beads because again beck loves beads so i got her a big string of beads i got her some heart flat backs crystal heart flat backs in like the teal um purple and pink I got her some um, sticky notes in pastel colors. I got, I love this, this collection, this color, like neon colors, but look how beautiful that pink is. I basically bought it for that pink. I think I bought myself a couple of uh, bags cause like that pink, it's got me. Um, so some jammies, some more jammies, but these are the pearl ones in pink and then some more jammies. And then this paper pad, she inspires us from, um, from Michael's and this was like a special a special one that they came out with so I know that um Beck likes pink I hope she likes this I mean if not she can just like use new designs and then I got a bunch of these mini foam glitter balls now I actually like kind of hate these for the environment like but I got them anyway. She can choose to use them in her packing or, I mean, if I ever get anything like that in my packing, I'm certainly going to be reusing them. Um, but I got those because I hear they're hard to get. Um, I, you know, as much as I miss home and everything, I do have to admit that the crafting supplies here in Canada are a lot better. Even better in America. I can't wait to be able to go, um shop over the border again i miss joanne so much so that's all of the store-bought stuff i know it was only supposed to be two store-bought gifts but honestly i kept seeing things and gifts are one of my like major love languages so like, i couldn't stop so this is a box i decorated and it's full of embellishments so i made the heart i made the flower layering it up and then we got like a dimensional dimensional topping here and they're all like raised and I, I'm obsessed with hollow I love hollow so I've got these treat boxes from the dollar store and then I have absolutely freaking stuffed it with <laughs> embellishments now I wanted to keep them sort of simple enough that Beck can kind of do her own thing with them oh crap so I made like all those bows I've got like double layered um butterflies in like different hollow colors pastels glitter those bows are gonna fall so just pop it down um more butterflies i the making these butterflies are one of my favorite things to do and i believe it's paper milkshake i believe it is or love letter generation one of those two australian girls p.s I would love to do a swap with either of you. Um, I'm obsessed with your stuff. I'm obsessed. So I've got all these bows and I think it's, and it's one of them. It's either Alicia or Tennille that does the hearts like this. And, and I've got the layered punch from We Are Memory Keepers, which is one of my favorite, the hearts. So I have a full bag of those in different pinks and hollow and printed vellum. I popped all the leaves from when I po uh, made these uh, flowers, which I'm going to show you. Um, in there for Beck so she can use them as well. And then I made all of these flowers. Some of them have got a glitter. Well, they've all got glitter um, inside, but um, let's see if I can, but some of them have got this like really cool raised glitter jemmy. They were on special. Um, there was a lot of clearance stuff at Michael's. Honestly, since COVID, 
Michael's, it's like you used to be able to just like, I remember when you could go in there and there were paper pads galore and like craft stuff galore. And now you go in there and some days it's like the craft apocalypse. Like there is nothing. So now when I go into Michael's and I see something, girl, I just grab it. Oh, there's something else. I don't know where it went. There's another little present um, somewhere. I have stuffed the box full of these. Aren't they fun? And plus, they're so great. You can use all of these on different projects as well or for packing. I hope that she keeps them. Um, all right. Now, this was my first... Oh, my God. I'm so embarrassed by this. This was my first attempt at a, at a 3D project and I kind of think it sucks so <laughs> I mean she's still getting it um it was uneven it was really hard even though it did come from a die cut I tried I was like I'm gonna e keep it in there anyway and then I made all these little clips that you can use again on um bag toppers like you saw that I did so we got one that's a little balloon we got little hands and then butterflies and they've all got jemmies and glitter and they all have um, little pegs on the back and then I just added some of these flowers which have sticky sticky backs um, that are around there too herringbone ones so I just added those as well <laughs> maybe to soften the blow at how much I hate that like I nested that glitter um, tool in it just so that I I don't know I was hoping to soften the blow I kind of hate it so <laughs> I, I made something bigger. Is it in here? That's really going to irk me because there is another present for Beck. I just need to find it. Not a big deal. It'll be a surprise for her. Okay, so I made this. I'm just going to move this out of the way. I'm so excited to finish this. This literally, a lot has been going on personally and this took me forever to finish. So I'm really happy that I'm going to be able to once I recorded this, I'm going to wrap everything up and send it off. I made, oh my God, I made this. It's a flower box and I made it from scratch. And then I also made this clip that goes on. I love this. I kind of want to make a million of them. So this is actually something that I saw Beck make these and I'm obsessed with them. I actually made a pair of earrings with them. And then I've got... A big lobster clip and then another one of those beads a little geode heart and then I got these hearts because I, I was obsessed when I saw these on YouTube and I looked on AliExpress for like ever to find them and then so I made that so that clips onto the side but I'll just leave her down here for now and then I sewed at the back here um this is made with like thick cardstock I mean it's it's like got chipboard on chipboard it's got four layers it is probably half, a quarter of an inch thick so she's sturdy um so I made the backing with some sequins and then celebrate and then I just put I hand rolled a bunch of flowers oh yeah there's flowers oh no the flowers are in here I hand rolled a ton of flowers I love making them I want to make more I've got some more dyes coming I only bought two for some reason which was stupid um but now I've got more coming so I'm going to be making as many that I made these I love like putting brads in the middle of these ones because I think they look really cute so I made a ton of flowers and then on the sides I've just got some embellishments as well oh shit things are falling out and then I've literally like glued everything is lined and then we've got the pom-pom frill at the top and then this actually holds up like ooh, she is sturdy McGurdy so I was really really careful with making sure that it uh, stood and then I made a bunch of rosettes from scratch another thing I love making and I love putting the hollow tape in the middle oh these are the Tim Holtz ones and I searched again forever to, as to where to find them because like on scrapbook.com you can't get them. These ones are from Coco and Reno, Tim Holtz, Coco and Reno. So I've got vellum. Um, I made a bunch. I think I made 12, um, 12 of these. And then I've got 
they're all like in here i've got a bunch of oh my god you can't even see sorry then i got a bunch of um mini rolled flowers that are in there hopefully you saw all those i made a lot because once you get the hot glue i don't have a, i mean i have a tiny little dedicated space in my room but once i get the hot glue gun and i get everything out like it honestly looks like and there's craft stuff everywhere in my house at the moment you wouldn't believe so oh yeah there's more flowers so beck's gonna have to go digging in here for all the flowers because there's stacks of them this is the sequins mix now i'm not gonna so it's got um purples pinks there's little polymer hearts there's uh clear um there's stars. So I really, really like this mix. And I'm actually going to do the five-year um, giveaway from Happy Mail Obsessed, Janae. Um, and I've got some leftovers. So, and I love these little, I found them. These ones are really hard. They're glass with the screw top. Uh, I found some finally in my craft store and I bought a bunch. So that's going in there as well. And then finally, um, Oh, there's another little guy. There are, again, Beck, make sure you dig in here because there is a ton of stuff. And then I just, like, I sewed some envelopes and there are some pouches and I put some glitter pouches and just some things that she can layer up and, whoops, and make her own. So then the tarot reading is going to go in there. Like I said, I'm going to pack everything up, wrap it all up, and then send it off. I'm really, really happy that it's finished because it was like a massive labor of love. I hope that Beck loves it as much as I loved making it for her. If you want to do a swap with me and you have you seen any of Cheryl's or Happy Mail Obsessed or Carolina's Crafts, who I'm obsessed with, or... Um, Happy Milkshake or um, Snail, oh, there's, oh, I can't remember her name, it's Tenille and, Tenille and um, Love, Le Love Letter Generation, haha, <laughs> I got it, um, then I would love to hear from you to do a swap. So that is my swap entry, for, well not entry, but that I'm doing with, with Beck. Um, I hope you enjoy watching it and I hope Beck enjoys, enjoys it so very much. I'll see you all next time.